times of struggle, man often turns to our salvific powers. This is as much true now as it was in the past. We know that about two years after the plague outbreak of 1485 in Italy, the Renaissance artist Giovanni Bellini painted the so-called San Giove altarpiece for the Church of San Giove in Venice. In the painting, Bellini depicted prominently in the foreground St. Job, the church's patron saint, and the plague saint Sebastian. Additional holy figures accompany them, including St. Francis and St. John the Baptist on the left, and St. Dominic and St. Louis of Toulouse on the right. They all extend their petitions to the Virgin Mary and Christ child enthroned at the center of the composition. Such representations of saintly figures and especially plague saints became popular usually during and in the aftermath of outbreaks. These kinds of images reminded the faithful that disease and misfortune can be overcome both physically and spiritually. But how else does this painting involve the viewer? First, St. Francis on the left turns toward the viewer and extends his right arm as if offering an actual invitation into the scene. The group of angels holding musical instruments in the foreground below the feet of the Virgin and Child also connect the imagined world of the painting with that of the church proper. The music they create can be imagined in the melodic sounds echoing in the actual space of the church. The fictive architectural setting of the altarpiece further blurs the distinction between the earthly setting and that of the divine. The artist painted a chapel with a golden semi-dome as if an extension of the church. He carefully designed the perspective of the image and even painted the columns with their foliate capitals so as to emulate the actual architectural framing of the painting. The image thus bridges the gap between the earthly and the heavenly with the saintly figures in the foreground actively mediating between the struggles of the faithful and divine protection. Such images had a healing power then and still do today, like most art and the creative process. Read more about this impressive painting and the theme of art, icons, and healing on the Sapientia blog.